Wishing Downton was a real place? Well, it practically is. From the real Crawley House to the actual community green, here's everything you need to know about Downton Abbey's filming location. Bampton is a tiny village in West Oxfordshire. In 2009, it was selected as the perfect filming location for the fictional Yorkshire village of Downton in Downton Abbey. In Downton Abbey, the village of Downton is a quaint ancient town in the north of England. In real life, the village of Bampton is pretty similar, although it is much further south. It's pretty much the most English town out there, which is great considering what we know about the true importance of those refined English accents. Yeah, hey guys, that may be hard to achieve. <laughs> As the parish council of Bampton notes, Bampton is actually one of England's oldest towns, dating back to the Iron Age. Prior to that, the town may have even existed during Roman times. Around the time Bampton was built, between 1650 and 1750, it became well known for selling leather, and middle-class people settled there in masses. It had grown by the 19th century, boasting over 20 shops. In the 20th century, when Downton Abbey is set, the town probably looked a lot like it does on the show. It had an active community and several annual fairs. Apparently, many of the old village customs still exist to this day. It's clear that the town of Bampton has all the history that the production team needed for the town of Downton. But why was that particular location chosen? There are plenty of other British towns that had the right look to pass as an early 20th century village. In a documentary for the BBC, the show's creator, Julian Fellows, explained, I seem to remember I was simply shown photographs of Bampton and it seemed perfect. Apparently, it actually took the production team a while to find their perfect locale. According to the Whitney Gazette, Dame Pippa Harris, a resident of Bampton, recommended the village to her friend Donal Harris, the show's production designer. Another Bampton local, Robin Shuckberg, elaborates on the tale on his YouTube channel. Within a week, he was here with his team, and it looked as though he'd found the perfect place. Not only did the town have wonderful historic features, but it was also close to Highclere Castle and had plenty of parking space for the film crew. Plenty of scenes in Downton Abbey take place at the local church. Mary's wedding, Mr. Carson's wedding, baby christenings and so on. The beautiful historic church of Downton was actually the church of St. Mary the Virgin, Bampton. As Robin Schuckberg explained in his video on his YouTube channel, The Cotswold Explorer, the church was a key filming location. The church was the only building we used for filming indoors. In Bampton, every other bit of filming was done just on the external parts of the buildings, but in this case, they used the inside as well. Funnily enough, the church has become so recognisable as a Downton Abbey staple that many fans of the show forget that it's just a fictional location. Schuckberg shares, Many a local in this village has been asked in all seriousness by visiting tourists where they can find Matthew Crawley's gravestone. Now that really is a bit weird. Then again, that's a pretty tame interaction as far as Downton Abbey fans are concerned. My heart has been broken into a thousand little pieces of flesh on the toilet. Why would you do that? Why, God? Why? <laughs> Remember the local pub in the village of Downton? There were a few key pub scenes in the show, often between Anna and Mr Bates. It turns out the exterior of the pub in Bampton wasn't actually a real pub. In fact, it was just a cottage that they transformed for the show. The now privately owned cottage has skyrocketed in value since filming. Bampton local Robin Schuckberg commented, it's changed hands several times in the last few years, which gives you some indication as to what happens when a major television series is filmed in your village. Apparently, the owners of the cottage kept the original Grantham Arms sign that was used in the first series. So while you can't go party it up at the Downton pub, you can definitely make it look that way on Instagram. In the very first episode of Downton Abbey, we see Isabel and Matthew Crawley move into their new home in Downton. The exterior shots of the house were filmed at Churchgate House in Bampton, a private family home. According to local Robin Schuckberg, the owner of the house often gets hilarious questions from Downton fans, like, Do you live here? Did you buy the house from the Crawley family? Sounds like some fans can't quite wrap their heads around the fact that Downton Abbey is fictional. In a documentary for the BBC, actor Hugh Bonneville spoke to the owners Rod and Maggie Harris. Apparently, they've lived in the house since 1991, when they bought it and completely renovated it. Of course, the interiors of the Crawley house were actually shot somewhere else, so most fans will never get to see inside. 
Another prominent location in Downton Abbey was the hospital where Dr Clarkson worked. In reality, the building is an old grammar school in Bampton. The grammar school has been restored over the past years, thanks to a fundraising campaign started by actor Hugh Bonneville. According to Schuckberg, once the restorations are finished, it will be a permanent exhibition of the filming of Downton in Bampton, along with other exhibitions and events. In an interview between Schuckberg and Bonneville, the pair discussed the importance of the building to Bampton. There's some fascinating lore. It was first built in the 17th century by Robert Vesey, who was a well-known rogue. But despite Vesey's impishness, the residents of the town embrace the building, and they still use it today as library and archives. The Village Green, Sanford Field, was used for some of the outdoor fairs and events in Downton Abbey. You may remember when Lord Grantham stood outside on the lush green and considered building more houses on the field. Apparently, the bridge he crossed was constructed just for the show. In his YouTube documentary, Robin Schuckberg explains, This is Sanford Field, a very important part of our lives in Bampton, where all the outside events are held. The latest was the Donkey Derby, which was just a couple of weekends ago. The weather shone and the children rode the donkeys. Sounds like something pulled straight out of a Downton Abbey episode, if you ask us. Because there are so many recognisable locations in Bampton, the town now has its own Downton Abbey tour for fans who visit just to bask in Downton's charm. The tour's headquarters are located in the Bampton Library, where the hospital was filmed. A local volunteer told the Whitney Gazette, The film has regenerated interest and more people than ever are coming to the town. In a documentary for the Cotswold Explorer, Robin Schuckberg spoke about how tourism in Bampton has remained steady, even though the show has been off the air for years. The projects are that we will go on having, you know, tens of thousands of visitors every year. We had 27,000, I think it was, that came through this shop this year. It sounds like Downton is still just as popular as ever. One of the most remarkable things about Downton Abbey's time in Bampton is just how well the cast and crew got along with the local villagers. The show's creator, Julian Fellows, told the BBC, They were so understanding and nice and they sort of looked after us. In fact, the cast and crew were so appreciative of the Bampton locals, they said thank you with a huge barbecue when the sixth season wrapped. Local Robin Chuckberg was, of course, in attendance. He recalled in an interview with actor Hugh Bonneville, It was an absolutely wonderful evening, and yeah, being served burgers and wine by you guys was enormous fun. Clearly, the cast and the villagers became good friends after 10 years of filming. While Bampton did provide most of the exterior village shots in Downton Abbey, it wasn't the only village featured in the series. Laycock, a tiny village in Wiltshire, appeared in the 2019 film. And as soon as we saw Church Street, it was, it was a no-brainer, it was going to be here. The village is owned by the United Kingdom's National Trust because of its many ancient buildings. This makes it perfect for British shows. Harry Potter, Wolf Hall, Pride and Prejudice and the other Berlin Girl all shot scenes in Laycock too. Laycock appeared in the Downton Abbey film during the parade scene, which needed to be a grand affair. Speaking to the National Trust, producer Gareth Neem explained, The parade scene featured 350 extras, including real-life Laycock villagers in period-accurate costumes and 80 soldiers on horseback, plus a royal carriage. Apparently, Laycock was better suited than Bampton for this scene, Julian Fellows told the National Trust. Laycock plays its role beautifully as a part of the village of Downton, which somehow we have never seen before. Of course, the most famous Downton Abbey location is the Abbey itself. Both up and downstairs, the house is the, uh, is, is the principal character in which this big family uh, exists. In real life, the house is called Highclere Castle. The castle is only an hour's drive from Bampton, where the local village scenes were filmed. The castle is still home to the fifth Earl of Carnarvon and his family, but the house is opened up to the public for some of the year. As the Radio Times noted, the house looks a lot like it does on the show, and you can see plenty of familiar scenes both inside and outside. If you're an avid TV and film fan, you might even recognise the castle from its other appearances in films like Eyes Wide Shut, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves and The Secret Garden. With Bampton just an hour away, you can see all of the famous Downton spots in just one day.
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos behind the scenes of your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.